Following the opening of US 460 Corridor Q, Brakes Interstate Park has observed an increase in car and elk collisions. I spoke with Park Superintendent Austin Bradley to learn more about the issue. When the new section opened uh, between, again, Brakes and Southern Gap, um, we started becoming aware of and then also responding ourselves um, to accidents in, involving motor vehicles and elk. Um, they are drawn to the area, the elk are drawn to the area because of uh, basically a, abundance of food. El elk are a grazing animal, they eat grass, there's lots of grass along the uh, shoulder of, of that road project. And, uh, and so, you know, it was uh, it, an abundance of animals along the new road, it, it, what we were afraid of started to happen. Make your ride one of a kind and see the experts at JM Custom Auto and Off Road. It's your customization candy store. Visit jmcustomauto.com and select your make and model. It's that easy. Window tinting, remote start, leather interiors, sound systems, front and rear bumpers, spray and bed liners, bed covers, wheels and tires, lift kits, step rails, even underglow lock kits, and so much more. If you can dream it, we can do it at JM Custom. Over five collisions have occurred in the last 30 days in the area. No major injuries were reported, but several elk were killed as a result. Basically, what we're encouraging people to do is just slow down, uh, be vigilant along that section that goes all the way from Southern Gap to Elkhorn City. Um, another thing that draws them onto the road is, is the use of road salt to melt snow and ice. The speed limit is 55. Um, at night with elk present on the roadway, that's just too fast to go through that section. And, uh, and so we just were hoping with our social media posts that we could raise awareness that people just need to slow down below 55 and just really be watching not only in front of them, but also to the sides um, for elk stepping out onto the roadway. Reporting for Mountaintop News, I'm Brianna Robinson.